Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sun, Moon, Arise, and Gemini. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a good week for you guys. The energy of the sun is here and the tower has broken down. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say if you have been working on a positive energy vibration, you're going to see this coming back in this week. This week is a week of the lovers and the week of the lovers stand with a lot of conflicts, a lot of conflicts that is going to be in your life um, in this week, in your relationship. If you're divorced, um, some people are going to have separation and that sort of a thing in this week this week is the energy of the lover zodiac energy is going to be fire and the energy is going to be water the energy of the lovers um, for you Gemini's you have to be careful you have to be um, very careful in the in love in this week because a lot of stuff will be happening especially for you Gemini's in this week love is not one of those um, positive energies on Friday and um, for the people who are working out with relationship situations on Friday it's going to be a bit a good day Wednesday is going to be your best days you Gemini's and um, this week begins from the 4th of December until the 10th I want to say um, thank you for your support and uh, um, this reading is for the sun moon and rising a uh, gemini's so, so let's move in because it's the first of december and see what is happening for you gemini's in this week um a lot of sadness uh, relationships uh, um are ending a lot of sadness the tower is coming twice so a lot of stuff is happening for you gemini's in this week you gemini's have the energies of uh, oh wow there is obviously something that is happening in this week for you uh, Gemini's because uh, some of you got um, this energy of victory and success but you have the energy of the two of Pentacles um, some of you, you know, this is for you guys is using the intellectual and using your word to say certain things. But whatever the situation is with your financial situation, there is a situation that is plain. Be careful of what you say. Um, some of you, your thoughts are not straight. So um, this is always the intellectual and the thought and it's, it's also victory. So some people, if an injustice has been done against you, um, it's going to happen with your financial world, um, your emotion and your financial world. So um, be aware of this because this is going to play out for some of you Gemini's. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, Ava re um, look at your reading the tower comes up twice the tower comes up twice there's a lot of energy especially for the gemini's who are working on an eye energy vibration the eights you guys have the energy of the eights oh my god eight and sixteen eight and sixteen eight and sixteen year week is full of 8 and 16 twice the tower came standing upright okay the tower comes twice standing upright okay the seven of Pentacles the eight of Pentacles okay this week is the energy of the lovers so it's going to affect your relationships okay and let's go and see what is taking place um, let's look at you you're reading so remember the number eight you have eight three times one two three remember that number eight number seven twice seven and seven twice the tower twice 16 okay so the eight of cups the the, the the let's let's break down your week on Monday it's the energy vibration because this week energy is um, water and the zodiac energy is fire water and fire is cleansing it's a week of cleansing so whatever situation um, that is there there is a lot of cleansing that is coming in the eight of Pentacles have to do with you're working hard 
and you're dreaming of new possibilities and new things. So this is actually good because the energy of the pentacles come in as a hurt energy that is going to help you to, you know, dream new things and look at new possibilities of things that you can do in your life. Okay. On Tuesday, you have the energy of the tower. Tuesday is going to be a rocky days for a lot of people on Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, something is going to end and, um, with a lot of stuff, whatever you have been doing for the people who have been not working on the positive energy and you have been working against other people, this is going to blow up and it's going to teach you a lesson. This situation, whatever it is that you were working against other people, it's going to blow up in your face on Tuesday. I mean, really, really blow up in your face on Tuesday. You have to be aware of this because it's going to happen and it's going to teach you a lesson. Okay. In the middle of the week, you have the energy of the eight of pentacles and the eight of swords. Um, on Wednesday, the you know, if depends on what energy, if you're working in a positive energy that you're, you know, being positive, not working against other people, um, whatever you're not seeing clearly is as if there is sorrows because the tower blew up on Tuesday and that was teaching you Gemini's a lessons. And here on Wednesday, you're having sorrows and you're not seeing something clear. So be aware of whatever, because this is going to affect, especially the people who have been working against other people, this is going to affect you. So if you have been working on a positive note, you know, working in a positive way to help other people do things for yourself that is not affecting other people, then you're not going to see something clearly, but that's okay because, um, on Sunday you will on Thursday, another earth. So we're going back to see, cause I had to break there. Okay, so on Thursday, you have the energy vibration of the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So a lot of people will be having a um, financial situation that is going on because um, whatever the situation that has been taking place is as if uh, um, some people will be feeling, you know, as if, um, you know, you're carrying um, a weight on your shoulder um, the 10 of wands, but with your financial situation. So, you know, it is the end of the year. And if you're a business person, this is going to affect most of the people in business for the rest of the people. It is so it's as if you're building on something, it doesn't really matter if you don't have any work, you know, the situation, the possibility of that is going to come in. So, you know, there is absolutely nothing to worry about for, especially for the business people, it's going to affect you business people because whatever you did, if you try to work against someone, there is a huge collapse of whatever you were doing that is going to affect you. So it's, let's say you're a business person that was in business and tried to work against someone and do something against someone. This is going to come back and hurt you in a way of your financial, in, your, in, in the financial way. So there is going to be, because as if, you know, you have done something that was unjust to someone else, and this is going to come back. So for you business people out there, it is very good that you, um, you know, on Thursday, a situation that is going to come up that has to do with money is as if you have to pay out some money and, you know, you're feeling this on Wednesday and on Thursday, you have to do it because whatever you did was injustice to someone else and this has an effect on you okay so you have a burden for the rest of the people it is going to be that whatever you're doing you know this burden is going to whatever burden that was there you're going to work hard to remove whatever that situation that was happening in your life okay friday we have the ten of cups this is a good situation whatever that was playing out whatever that was blocking you um the energy of the house of God is coming down. So um, let's see, um, whenever this energy comes up, especially the energy of the house of God, it's a tower and the tower come twice. So a lot of cleansing is happening in the lives of you. Gemini's in this week, a lot of cleansing. So for people who 
were blocked and people were working against you the tower is coming out and then you're going to have the energy of the ten of cups so this is good this is for the people who are and this week is really um, divided up in people who have been working positive because you are going to see a positive outcome so let's say that you know you're someone who's good at or doing things working towards um, you know the bet for betterment of yourself and that sort of a thing and people tend to block you and that sort of a thing. The tower is going to come and, you know, that energy is going to be changed. And what you're going to have is the energy of the Ten of Cups. So this is a week of love. So let's say that people were working against you with your relationship or it doesn't have to be your relationship. It can be that people were just blocking you from, you know, um, receiving what it is that was meant for you and you are going to see that the tower is coming in so this is for the people who are work working on a positive energy vibration on Saturday we have the Knight of cups the energy of the Knight of cups oh my god energy of the Knight of cups this is a water energy so in love if you are dealing with someone between the ages of 25 and 40 um, 25 and 40 if you're dealing if you are in a relationship with someone um, 25 and 40 this person the six of Pentacles is going to be coming in and helping you out it doesn't have to be in a financial way it can be um, in you know balancing out who you are um, it could be someone who is you know really likes you or in love with you so for you ladies or gentlemen who you know have a, you know a, a connection with someone and this is this is this is positive because what this person is doing the six of pentacles the person is going to bring you little gifts little something um in some way the gifts he's going to bring you um the gifts of you know maybe he just take you out to dinner or take you for coffee but he wants you to know that he has your back and he wants you to know that you know whatever you need he is there for you so whoever this person is can be someone it is going to be someone between the ages of 25 and 40 and he is coming in your life and he wants to be with you and he wants to let you know that you know he has your back he really cares about you and he wants you know a relationship with you or you know if it's a friendship he wants you to know that you know there is more and that is going to be on Saturday so that is good because a lot of people a lot of you Gemini's if you're dealing with someone who is uh, a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpion this fellow this person is you know a super it could be your son so if you have a child that is between the ages of 25 and 40 this person is going to bring you gift and this could be something wonderful that is coming in your life it could so you know look and see who that is affecting this is good the magician so sunday is going to be your best days okay um sunday is going to be a wonderful day you have your own energy vibration of the magician coming in and there is clarity so whatever the dissolution was because you have the dissolution in the middle of the week and there was sadness for some of you on sunday the energy that is your energy vibration coming in on sunday this is going to be wonderful and positive because what is happening because you know you gemini's have three times eight two times seven two times sixteen 16 and 1 is 7. So, you know, a lot of you Geminis, this is going to be a powerful, wonderful week for you guys, you know, and for the for the people who are working against other people you're going to feel that in the middle of the week you're definitely going to feel that because when this tower comes for you and this this whatever the shakedown is whatever the breakdown is on Tuesday for you Gemini's it is for the people who have been working against other people and somehow the universe came in and said it stop here this is where it stops and you're going to feel that on Wednesday in the middle of the week you're going to feel that so for this first half of the week is for the people 
you know, who have been working against other people because you're feeling it. It's, it's going to hit you and it's going to hit you hard. This is going to be a lesson and this is going to be a very karmatic lesson because it's something that you try to do. Because if you look at Tuesday and Wednesday, this is where, because Tuesday, it broke down and it's a lesson learning. It's a lesson for you. So be aware of what you have done to someone else. For the people who have been working on a positive energy, who have been trying to bring in stuff and that sort of a thing, the opportunities you work in hard is going to bring a lot of wonderful things because that is what you're going to see on Friday. Remember that this week is a cleansing week, okay? And for the people who have kids between the ages of 25, and for today's people are going to come in to kind of help you. So you're looking at the Pisces, the Cancer, and the Scorpions. They're going to be helping you out and bringing you little gifts and stuff. So, and for some people, this could be someone who is, you have connected with. And this person wants you to know, you know, I really care about you. I want to see you. I want to be there for you. I don't want you to close me out because I want to be a part of your life. I want to share something with you. And this is going to be good. So in business, for the business people, be aware of what you have done because the tower energy is going to come down on you third Tuesday and Thursday you're going to feel this energy and it's going to be coming down at you your best day is going to be Sunday for you Gemini's the number for you guys is three times eight I don't think that there is so much of an explanation for you guys because um, you can see this really happening for you guys because the ace of one and the two of pentacles that was you know your energy vibration um for the week the ace of sword and the two of pentacles um it is a victorious for the people who have been working in a positive because you know it's coming down to the end of the year and you know a, a lot of stuff needs to be cleansed so i'm working with the angels of abundancy and they say take a divine guided change take a divine guided change all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer a appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities in your life isn't this wonderful yes it is so this is exactly what is happening because you have twice the towers so it is it is saying to the people who have been working against other people take a divine guide change to who you are and, and look at yourself at what you're doing to other people and by doing that what is going to happen is that a lot of changes in a lot of new situations and stuff is going to be happening in your life i'm also working with the energy of uh, the message from the universe and oh my god this is like one of my favorite favorite flowers I love the sunflower, the tulips and the orchids. It's as if my life as a flower was either orchids, a tulip or a sunflower, especially sunflower. Sunflower is the most positive, positive flower you can ever have in your house because especially, you know, um, when you get those a big sunflower with the stem, the long stems, and you set it in a vase, it is so beautiful. It smells so good in your house in the summer. And it says, great big ears to ears, open mouth smiles are responsible for far more sizzling romance. Salary increase, life expansions, and calorie burning than your dentist doctors and financial planners will ever comprehend show us your tension the universe and this is just so positive so ladies and gentlemen i want to say to you whatever you do to others it's going to affect you in the long run okay whatever you do to others it affects you in the long run and 
the thing about it is that um, we never thought that, especially in this year, um, 2017, which I've been saying to a lot of people, whenever your year 2017 begins, be careful because it's a very karmatic year. It's a year, whatever you have been doing to others and whatever others have been doing to you will return to them back. And it doesn't take long. It is as if you do something to someone else and it's just going to in a couple of months or a couple of hours or a couple, you know, it just happens. And this is because the energy vibration of the hurt is speeding up and this is what we have. And, you know, I, I don't see, um, and, and, and I tend not to be biased. I tend really, sometimes I tend really not to be biased and the energy of the sunflower is coming out because what this is doing for you, and you can call upon Archangel Uriel, um, call upon Archangel Uriel in this week, you um, Geminis, because whoever, you know, if you're in business and you're doing business illegal or you're doing business in a form of, you know, taking from people and that sort of a thing. It's going to come back and bite you in the butt when you least expect it, okay? If you thought you have been, you know, doing things to get away with it and treating other people and doing things up, um, against other people, and this week you're going to see this coming back. For most of you who are working on a positive energy, it's going to be extremely good. Love in this week is going to be very powerful. The Ten of Cups is here. Seven of Cups is here. Um, you know, there is going to be, you know, if you are looking for someone in this week, the positive energies are here. Um, there is a lot of new possibilities. Um, they're thinking, they're teaching you to think not, you know, people will be looking for relationships and they're thinking about someone who has this feature and that feature and somebody who's beautiful. But sometimes someone who is beautiful doesn't have a good character to someone who is less you know, beautiful, but yet still they have good things about them. And some people will think only of sex and some people will think of this and that. So we're all different. But what this week is saying, be careful of what you do to others. Love is going to be powerful in this week, but a lot of lessons is going to come to the people. Um, um, a lot of lessons, a lot of effect and lessons is going to come to um, people who or, you know, I've been doing things to other people. I personal think that this week is a cleansing week for the people who has been, you know, really positive, really upbeat, really trying to do things in the right ways. Um, relationship wise on Friday, if you had a relationship that someone was blocking your relationship or you were seeing someone and their partner or ex-partner was holding on to them or whatever, the tarot is going to come on Friday and finally this person is going to be free from a relationship. So love on Friday, you know, people are going to be letting you know how they feel about you. It's going to be positive in love for some people, but if you... I have been, you know, deceivingly working to, um, to make someone fall in a situation. It's going to affect you because the karmas are coming back. The middle of the week, the sadness and the eight of swords, the sadness and the eight of swords in the middle of the week is going to affect the people that has been working bad karmas. Okay. It's going to come back and bite you in the butt. I can tell you this from now. So, um, just be aware of what you're doing. I want to say to each and every person, this is the first week of December. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and support. This, uh, um, please share these videos, like, thumbs up, and I will speak to you next week. Namaste.